Hello, my name is Antonio, and I'll be reading When Santa Was a Baby by Linda Bailey on behalf of United Way of Greater Atlanta. When Santa was a baby, he was soft and round and cuddly, and his parents thought he was wonderful. Look at those dimples, said his dad. How merry, and his little nose, said Mom, like a cherry. Kichi kichi koo, they said together and waited for Santa to make a baby sound. A sweet little gurgle, a gentle coo. Ho, 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 boomed Santa baby in a voice that rattled the windows. Oh my, said his parents leaping back. What was that? Little Santa smiled, his first smile. His parents were thrilled. He doesn't have a usual baby voice, said his dad. But it's good and strong, isn't it? It's special, said his mom, just like him. The years went by. Santa grew older. He began to learn his colors. Right from the start, he liked red the best. What about these dandy blue pajamas, Aunt Mabel, said his mom. Santa shook his head. Want red? Of course you do, said his dad. But blue is nice too. Want red, said little Santa. His parents put the blue pajamas in a drawer. Maybe he'll be a firefighter, said his mom. On his next birthday, Santa got a beautiful red fire truck from his mom and dad. He got a rocking horse from Grandma, a puzzle from Uncle Ned, and a pair of yellow pajamas from Aunt Mabel. What a lovely time Santa had opening his presents. He even had a lovelier time wrapping them up again and putting them in a sack. What's he doing? asked his mom. <laughs> Beats me, said his dad. They watched in amazement as Santa rolled down the street, giving away his presents to all the boys and girls. Did you ever see anything like this, said Santa's mom. His dad shook his head. What a generous child. On his next birthday, Santa asked for a horse. Well, it wasn't exactly a horse. He said it's like a horse except it had horns and could pull a flying sled. His parents didn't understand, so they asked him to draw it. Do you think it's a unicorn? Said Santa's dad, stretching his head. A unicorn, said his mom. Now where are we supposed to get one of those? They got him a hamster instead. <laughs> it was a female hamster and soon it had eight babies. When they grew big enough, Santa harnessed them with ribbons to a matchbox. He put tiny presents in the matchbox and trained the hamsters to pull it around the house. Listen, said his mom. He's calling them by name. Dasher, Santa said. Dancer and Comet and um, Blixen? No, Vixen. Extraordinary said Santa's dad. He's so creative, said his mom. Santa was an unusual child in many ways. For one thing, he didn't like the warm weather. When the other children were out running around in the hot summer sun, little Santa stayed inside waiting for the fridge door to open. We can't keep it all, we can't keep it open all the time, said his mom. Think of the electric bills. You're right, sighed his dad, but it makes him so happy. Santa also had an odd interest in chimneys. What do you suppose he's looking at, asked his dad. His clothes are all covered in ashes and soup. We can wash them, said his mom. Isn't it great that he's so curious? Maybe he'll be a scientist, said his dad. Santa's best friend lived right next door. His name was Elred. Elred was smaller than Santa. But in other ways, 
They were much alike. They both enjoyed making things, especially toys. And Eldred loved green almost as much as Santa did. What a jolly pair, said Santa's mom. So nice to have a friend, said Santa's dad. As Santa got older, it became clear he'd inherit a family that looks good. Goodness, said Santa's mom. Just look at your bellies. They match. Like two bowls full of jelly, said Santa. Santa's dad. Ha, ha, ha. Tee, hee, hee, said Santa's mom. Ho, 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 boomed Santa. When Santa became a teenager, he continued to be unusual. He knew his own mind. He didn't always fit in the crowd, but his parents thought he was wonderful. As for the rest of the story, well, you can probably guess. Santa followed his childhood dream. He moved to the North Pole, where it's very cold. He built a toy-making workshop and brought in a new crew of elves to help. He got a big, beautiful sleigh and trained eight reindeers to pull it. And once a year, he traveled around the world climbing down chimneys, leaving gifts for girls and boys.